It's World Autism Awareness Day and the United Nations is celebrating the contributions of persons with autism. UN Secretary General Anthony Guterres says despite important progress, persons with autism continue to face social and environmental barriers to the full exercise of their rights and fundamental freedoms. He identified the need to do better by promoting inclusive education, equal employment opportunities, self-determination. Well, I have joining me in the studio a behavior analyst and certified autism specialist, Helen Oshikoya. It's good to have you join us on the news mm. at one. Um, so pretty interesting as to that's speaking to what the UM, the Antonio Guterres said about celebrating persons who have persons with autism who have contributed one thing or the other to the society. But first, I want to ask you what you do you know, to cater to the children with special needs here in Nigeria, particularly those with autism. Okay, um, I'm an early intervention specialist and basically a behavior analyst. So what we actually do is that we um, find the child. So basically we go into the community, we go into the schools and find children who actually are at risk of neurodevelopmental disorder. Then we now do um, further evaluations for them and then with the hope that they would have proper intervention based on the science of applied behavior analysis. And so from your research, you know, what have you discovered so far, particularly when you go into these communities to um, ascertain the level of prevalence or how acceptable the children are in a society? Well, the, pro the, the um, basic challenge is that awareness. Of course, the awareness is not widespread. It's only spread to a certain um, amount of people. And then resources, resources to actually take care of the children when they're identified. At the moment, um, I would say that the prevalence in Nigeria is about 1 in 69, but we can't actually give an accurate figure because obviously children are not diagnosed on time. The, um, the children that do have the opportunity to, uh, uh, you know, to, be get, to be detected on time through our program, success rate is very, very high. So most of them come off the program within the, you know, within the first um, two years of them having their intervention. But then a lot of children come in late and then the opportunity to um, um, get better becomes diminished because a lot of opportunities have been lost. So what happens to these children? Because we know that autism doesn't have a cure yet. Um, so what happens when children are brought in late and they cannot uh, particularly adapt to the society since they didn't get care on time? Well, the truth of the matter is that um, the prognosis is very poor in the sense that, you know, the opportunities to have learnt those skills, you know, ha has to be done early. And when it's not done early, the opportunity for that quality of life becomes, you know, diminished. I'm not saying that they may not have a good quality of life, but the, you know, the prospects of having it become low because, one, um, taking care of a child with, on the autism spectrum is financially enduring. So a lot of parents don't have the money and can't afford it. And then the government institutes that are meant to help the parents are not obviously doing enough in the sense that there's no health insurance to provide for them for their intervention and there's no detection process. So it's, um, I think, for us in Nigeria, um, we need to do a lot more because we do have a lot of children on the spectrum, especially in our school system right now. Well, if you take a look at how um, government should step up, you know, into providing for per children, particularly for children with special needs, and uh, what schools should also be doing, because it's the schools that get to identify sometimes these children that have this neuro uh, development disorders. Uh, what should schools be doing? Should there be some kind of programs in schools to include these children? Because that's the basic thing, how to include them in society. These children are included, but the care for them is not optimal. So schools should actually have a school health program whereby the children can be detected on time then schools should actually have their own technicians, you know, who would actually be, you know, work with the children under the direct supervision of a behavior analyst, of course. So if we have more of those systems in place, the opportunities for these children to get um, the intervention required becomes a lot higher. I, wanted to, I want you to talk to the signs and symptoms parents and particularly the society should watch out for 
when you see a child, uh, you know, probably having a new development disorder? Well, the truth is that most parents only begin to become concerned when the child is not talking. But there would have been other things that would have arisen before that. So basically, no eye contact, um, lack of social inclusion, um, um, selective feeding, um, inability to express themselves, inability to be able to um, accept environmental you know, um, and noises and things like that. But what I do tell parents is that if you have a hospital that has a developmental screening process, your child at the point when you are screening, it is only a delay. Mm -hmm. Autism begins to manifest, obviously, at about 18 to 24 months. So the developmental screening before then mm -hmm. can give you those early signs that can pinpoint the possibility of your child being on the spectrum, but it doesn't mean that your child is on the spectrum. Uh, I'm afraid we might have to leave the conversation, but I want to ask you really quickly, what's the cost for a child with? What's the cost of taking care of, taking care of a child with autism? It varies. Sometimes you can have a cost of 100000 a month to up to 1.5 a month. It just depends. It just depends on the needs. And it just depends on who is managing the child. Qualified behavior analyst Helen Oshikura, thank you so much You're for welcome. joining us on the news. Thank you for having me.